Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would like to briefly update you the development progress of the graphical user interface design for Quantum Espresso. And uh, we have named the project as Quantum Vitas, standing for Quantum Visualization Interacting Toolkit for Ab initial Simulations. And uh, I will have an independent video on that. Okay, so uh, let's just run the code. We have changed the logic a little bit so that there is a workspace folder that is the parent for all of the projects. So this is the thing that we will get if you first run the code because it cannot find the setting file, it cannot find the workspace and everything is grayed out. You need to specify the workspace. Yeah. So open and in our case, we just uh, set the workspace here. Okay, copy, paste here and then select folder. Yeah. And once the workspace is set, everything is available and you see that it automatically loads all of the project folders in the workspace directory. Yeah? And to open it, you can press open selected. And then this is what I saved before. That it is the sodium chloride crystal. So you could uh, make different changes. For example, you could uh, play around with this, let's say 420, something like that. And then in the end, you can save it by save current project yeah and then it will automatically save into this project folder yeah and then for example if if you want to close it you could either close it here or close select it and this is closed and when you open again it will load the things for example here yeah that you have saved last time so uh, you could also open multiple projects for example you could also open this uh, silicon project and this is the silicon crystal structure. We could uh, do the trick uh, as last time. We could uh, convert it to Cartesian coordinate and plot it. And uh, let's make the bond length a little bit longer. And you see that this is the usual silicon crystal. Yeah. Okay. And then we can close it. We can close it. If you want to um, create a new project, you could press here and then type in the name of the project. Yeah. Okay. To save the project, you can save the current project and you see that indeed every project is grouped into the folders and all of the projects are saved in the workspace. Yeah? Let's say we can close the program and then we run a program again. It will automatically go to the workspace and load everything. Yeah? Open selected project and you see that everything is the same as the project that we saved last time. The second thing is that I have implemented all of the details in the SCF part that, for example, we can reset all to default and all of the settings that are unnecessary are set to default and grayed out. And you only need to take care of those that you can still edit. Yeah? So those are the necessary things. And uh, you, you could also uncheck some individuals and then let's say we could change it. Also, I have implemented some information buttons. For example, here, if you hover your mouse onto the information button, there is a small message. And if you click on it, there is a detailed message popping out. Yeah. Um, okay. And then I have also implemented the input. Basically, you can press here, show input. And this is more or less the input file that you will get. Yeah? And then there is a warning. You need to set certain things that is required, but you haven't set it. Yeah? So I will complete this part. And basically that's it. So the next step is implement the calculations into folders and also how to write the input file. And then the next step would be how to run the Quantum Espresso code from this user interface. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you like my video, I really appreciate your like or subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time.